Hey everybody, my name is Kate welcome back for another video of Star Wars The Old Republic. That's right, we're back boys. We're continuing this series. I pull up a poll on uh, YouTube uh, to ask you guys if you wanted me to play more of this. And it's been pretty pretty much uh, anonymous, right? Everyone wanted, to, uh, wanted me to play this game again. To continue this series with uh, its expansion. So that's what we're going to do. I mean, I'm happy to play this game for you guys. I love playing this game. Uh, sure, there was some parts for the main campaign. Most of it is just the main campaign that's doing that too. It uh, were some parts where I had to travel a lot and took a long time for me to do it. But if you guys want me to do that more, I mean, hey, I'm all up for it. I love playing this game. So let's go. Let's continue the expansions. First expansion is going to be Ilum. Uh, we're gonna go travel there. We gotta interact with the droid. As you can see, first I do, I do want to show you guys a couple of things. I do have a new mask or a new helmet on. Um, what I did is basically I've got uh, my guild right. So from my guild, I went for the bank of the guild and I got uh, one of their helmets that they were giving away. So pretty cool Mandalorian helmet. It's different from the others, uh, the ones I had. So actually, it looks pretty cool. Uh, kind of fade on the middle there the colors but it is what it is i like the helmet a lot so i'm gonna keep it and also uh for my companions as you can see right here i modified the weapon a little bit i couldn't find a hilt but i managed to find some mods and enhancement for a uh, torian uh, but not for me because my enhancement and mods are too high up already for the types of uh, that they're giving in the fleet. So the fleet doesn't give you uh, that much of a good thing. So let's just interact with the droid already and start this inspection off, boys. Operigus. I'm calling to recruit you for a special project. It's called Operation Dark Ice. It'll be the most dangerous thing you've ever done, but it could very well win the war. You're the best hunter in the galaxy. Can we count on your services? Fill me in. I don't work for free. I don't do volunteer work. You'll be well paid, and you'll receive a temporary battlefield commission. It'll be your operation if you accept. I'm sending the coordinates to the planet Ilum. Used to be a frozen wasteland only a few Jedi bothered with. But a few weeks ago, Imperial scientists discovered a way to turn a Deegan lightsaber crystal into the most significant breakthrough in military technology since the hyperdrive. You're exaggerating. The hyperdrive revolutionized galactic warfare. Nothing before or since has matched it in importance. I'm not exaggerating. Ilum has the biggest supply of Adegan lightsaber crystals in the galaxy. And our scientists have been most successful with Ilum's crystals. The Empire won on Corellia. But it was costly. We're outnumbered. We need the technological edge. We need Ilum's crystals. But as usual, the Republic's intent on interfering. I'll take care of the Republic. You focus on getting those crystals. Then we have an arrangement. Ilum's a nasty place. Cold as Hoth, covered in ice and mountainous terrain. Makes moving large armies impossible. I hope to see you soon. Alright boys, well, we got it. So that's, uh, that's good at least, so we got that done. Um, now we just gotta travel to Ilum, I guess. Use your ship's galaxy map to travel to Ilum. Now, I don't know if I gotta be in my ship, so I'm gonna travel to my ship just to be sure, right? Just to be uh, make sure that um, there's no cutscene or whatever on my ship while I travel there. All right, we're on Ilum, boys. We're about to enter the uh, little uh, place right here, the um, headquarters for the Empire. You guys know Ilum. We went there before with the other game, right? The other Star Wars game, which was uh, Fallen Order. So we went there in that game, uh, there to construct our lightsaber. Not gonna look the same at all. Definitely gonna look a lot different, but it's still the same icy planet, right? It's always the same prince, uh, the same concept, basically. I see three flaws, Major. You split your forces, you're vulnerable in the air, and you take our enemy for idiots. You think that Jedi isn't expecting this? Out! Yes, sir. Hunter, I hope we have a deal. I have your battlefield commission ready. And my credits? My payment too? When the job's done, a Deegan crystals. Imperial scientists can now transform these glitzy bits of rock 
into the most powerful stealth technology in the galaxy. We want every ship in the Imperial Armada fitted with this tech. An unstoppable stealth armada. So what's the hitch? I take it you've run into trouble, or you wouldn't have called me. To succeed, we need two things. To control Ilum's crystal supply, and to bring our fleet safely to Ilum for modification. Ilum's no place for a war. Narrow passages, sharp jutting rocks, and the coldest wind you ever felt. But that Republic Admiral wants a war. He sent Jedi Master Jerick Caden to lead the Republic's elite alien armies on the ground. Caden's pinned us in. The only reason Master Caden is still around is because he hasn't met me. I'm counting on that. The Jedi think of Ilum as their planet. Only two of them were here when we arrived, but they have ruins scattered around the place. The ruins housing Master Caden's base are too small for anything but a strike team. And they're surrounded by cliffs full of Duras shock troopers. Well, I'll take care of it. Then have your soldiers stand aside and let a professional take care of this. Our only chance is to lure the Duras shock troopers into the open where they're vulnerable. I've established fake supply depots between here and the ruins. Master Caden is over aggressive. He's already mobilized the shock troopers to capture the depots, clean out the Duros at the supply depots, and then assault the ruins base. All right then, seems still uh, seems uh, simple enough, boys. Let's do what the Grand Moff told us to do. See if we want our money, right? Uh, defeat a Northern Duros squads and the Western Duros squads. We basically, gotta defeat a bunch of enemies right here. I don't know where exactly it's gonna be though. It's gonna be interesting to see. I think I gotta travel. Am I supposed to travel there? I can just get outside right here. Yeah. All right. Let me just get outside real quick. We're about to see. It's not that far away. I don't know if I actually need a taxi. I am going to take a look just to be sure. You never know, right? You know these games, boys. You always got to look for your taxi and everything. So, let's see. No, they're very far away from each other. So, I am oh, not going to go fun. ahead and do any, uh, any of that. I do want to take a look real quick, though. Uh, where am I in terms of dark? I'm pretty out, out there. I only have a thousand points in light. Which is kind of crazy when you think about it, right? I prefer staying in the dark. I like dark better than light. I don't know, boys. Feels a little bit more like me. Right, there is Duro Squad right here. I think this is the area. The general area I'm supposed to be in. Uh, Duro's Assault Specialist. Am I supposed to... Oh, uh, Duro Squad Leader? Let me just kill them. I think I'm just supposed to kill them, so let me just do that, I guess. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, finish them off as uh, quick as possible, though. Let's go. Now, we're, we're gonna start to have a little bit more uh, mods, um, especially uh, around here uh, at the beginning, because we're gonna have uh, renown points, right? We're gonna start to level up a lot, so the mods are definitely gonna come in handy. Yeah, I think I'm just supposed to kill as uh, 15 of these duros. I don't know if there's particular t uh, types of duros I gotta kill or something, or if any of them will do, uh, will suffice. I don't know, but I'll just try all of them. Let's go. So far, so good. I feel like uh, it's all of them. Yeah, it's all of them, so I can just kill them or, or whatever. No problem. Okay, we're good. Let me just equip that so I get, uh, do a lot more damage. Just do that right here. There we go. I do a lot of damage, boys. Simple mission right here. It's just me trying to destroy a bunch of people. They're uh, making it e a little bit easier for me right now. All right, let's go. I'm gonna get that, I guess. I, that's not what I was trying to do, but I'll take it. Let's go. Let's do this shit. All right, we got him. Next stop, we still have a couple of soldiers to kill. I'm always gonna go towards the groups because this is where um, this is where we can get as many people at the same time as possible. It's been a while since I actually used this at the ability right here, so I'm just gonna go ahead and use it. It's a good ability, uh, AOE attack too, so I'm just gonna use it. I don't know why I haven't used it before. I guess I wasn't really uh, recently you facing off against a huge number of enemies. I don't want to face this guy. I kind of want to 
see if there's not any enemies nearby like a, a group of them so it uh, saves me time there's a big group right there we're just gonna uh, do these guys right here big group time to do our thing boys all right let's go you just go ahead and uh, do this right here yeah that's what I'm talking about that's how you do it all right so this vicinity uh, this general area is done we just got to move on to the next one. I'll see you guys once I've traveled there. It looks like it might take a little bit longer than I think it will. Okay, we're here, boys, in the next camp. So let's just go ahead and defeat these little Duros troopers right here. They're really easy to defeat, so we'll just do it right now. Let's go. All right, I'm just going to go into the middle here. They just carbonated me. What the fuck? Don't do that, buddy. That's not funny. You can't just do that to me. Let's go. You're you're dead. More troopers right here. We're just gonna go for all the the big places where there's a lot of them. But uh, I can kill as many of them as possible. This might be a chill mission right here. Chill first video for the expansion, boys. But hey, that's what it is. Let's go. We just gotta uh, destroy that turret real quick, though. Let's go. Let's go, Torian. We got dropped back bit time at that turret somehow. There's a couple druids right there that should do the trick. What? How the fuck? Okay. You know what? I was trying to use that ability right here, but it didn't work for some reason. I don't know why. You just go ahead and do that. I'm going to use the special ability so I can do, uh, do a little bit more damage right now. There, they have some poison too. It's interesting. There we go. You're out of here. I need four more people to die. That should do it right there. He poisoned me, so now I'm slower. What the fuck? Right, let's go. All of you are about to die. There we go. That's what I'm talking about right here. Nice little AoE. And uh, they're all dead. Pretty cool. Next stop, we got to travel there. All right. Let me go there, boys. All right, here we go. We're right here. This doesn't actually take me a long time, unlike the other uh, the main campaign maps. Ilum doesn't seem like it's taking me a long time to go from places to places, but I just, uh, it's not really saying much, right? I don't know, boys. I'm going to try to get... Oh, it's going to be hard to get uh, in front of them without them attacking me. So far, so good. I haven't managed to get attacked. But there's a lot of them right now. It's going to be rough. Me trying to evade them and stuff. Ah, uh, no, I couldn't do it. There we go. I couldn't do this one. This is not one I could evade, boys. So just do that, do that pretty quick. And we're going to kill that champion for sure. Let me just go ahead and do my thing right here. Let's go. All right. This guy is annoying. Got to get rid of him real quick. Just go. go. Shoot the fuck out of him. And you're about to die as well. We're good. Next up, we got to get past these two. Uh, we're gonna have to fight them, so let's just go ahead and do it right now. Get the advantage while we can. All right, let's go. I'm gonna get the shields up so they don't, they can't do as much damage as they uh, could eventually. Why are the hell like they're healing themselves? That's what's a little bit annoying here. The fact that they're healing themselves, I don't like that. Kill all these Jedi's boys. Now, I do, if I remember properly. I do think Master Kadeen, or whatever his name is, I think he's from the Jedi Council. One of the few remaining uh, members of the Jedi Council at this point in time where we are. Because I think uh, with the, pl uh, the timeline and everything, a bunch of Jedi Masters from the Council died. So there's not a lot left. I gotta kill all these dudes. They're all in my way, boys. Alright. Um, I don't care. Might as well. Come on, Torian. Alright, help me out here. Alright, I think I can probably try to get past them. No, I couldn't get past these guys. Fuck off, man. The goddamn Jedi's. Gotcha. It's annoying as hell. I'm gonna tell you right now. You just uh, carbonite you. You are gonna die first. Oh my god, are you serious? Get off my ass! All right, all right, there we go. We got him. Now we gotta kill these guys, though. Definitely, we gotta do it. 
Let's go. We got this. Somehow this Jedi evaded us. Evaded my attack, which is pretty annoying. Let's go. I got that. He's gonna do a special attack or something in a minute. I gotta kill him before he does it. Oh, he yelled himself up, this little asshole. There we go. We're good, though. We did kill him. Let's go kill him off, man. Kill these goddamn Duro soldiers. I don't know what they're even doing trying to protect uh, these Jedi's in the Republic. You know, the Republic could come at me and try to tell me, hey, why don't you just pay me, right? To help you out like the Empire is doing. I don't understand why the Republic, like, why it's not giving me more of that option where I can work with whoever I want as long as they're paying me. Looks like the Empire, though, is the only uh, faction willing to pay me. Which is weird. Is there trouble, Master Caden? No, Admiral. My guests have simply arrived sooner than expected. Rest assured, this war can only end one way. The war is not my business. I was hired to kill you, that's all. You just do your job. But do you ever stop to question what that job means? You are on Jedi land, and I'm only gonna ask once for you to leave. Uh, what's the matter? Afraid? It's nothing personal. If you're done talking, I'd like to do what I was paid to do. Surely even a bounty hunter understands sacred things. The job, the hunt. The crystals your empire hopes to turn into a weapon of mass murder are visible signs of an invisible truth. The Force. A Jedi does not kill until forced. I would sooner kill every Imperial on Ilum than allow these crystals to be desecrated. I'm going to enjoy this. What a bunch of nonsense. I almost ate killing you. What a bunch of nonsense. Those crystals are no more sacred than my ear. That's right. I almost feel sorry for you. All right, I'm done talking. I'm here to kill you, Jedi Master. Why don't you get down in here so I can do my job? Rufus, join me for the Republic. All right, let's do this shit. You're about to die, my guy. Let's go. All right. We're gonna go ahead and uh, kill the troopers first. This guy just tried to stun me. Not gonna happen. And you know what? I think I'm I'm kind of tempted. I'm just gonna get rid of the troopers first. I'm kind of tempted to use my special abilities, but I don't actually need it. I don't even need my aerorex because I'm doing so much damage to that uh, Jedi Master right now. Uh, for a council member, you sure are weak, my guy. I don't know. That was a little bit too easy for uh, for you to be a council member. All right, we got that, but that's kind of useless. I guess now we can go back. We did our job, so speak to Grand Moff Regis, which is at the shuttle. So travel there, boys. All right, we're back in the outpost. Go ahead and talk to Grand Moff, boys. Tell him that our job is done here. That was a, actually a pretty easy job, to be honest. This is a military matter, Malgus. You appeal to the Dark Council for help. Here I am. I finished the mission. Master Caden is dead. See, Malgus, we have everything under control. Members of the Dark Council are not convinced. Darth Malgus, I'll just be observing for the time being. Observing, hmm? Before his death, Master Caden ordered an army of Kalish mercenaries to take our only functioning crystal mine. We need the crystals. We need that mine. I want the Republic's Kalish army destroyed. Show the galaxy the price of a line with the Republic. All right. That that could take a while. I'm going to need a really big bomb. Can't take down an entire army by hand. It's a point. Your plan hardly seems efficient. The victory on Corellia cost us nearly a tenth of our forces. That's hardly a rate of attrition we can support, is it? Does this have something to do with the mission, Malgus? The Kalish are warlike, ritualistic people. In my brief time on Kali, I observed the ritual by which they chose their war leader. Challenge their general. Win their respect, and they will defend that mine to the death. For the Empire. Aliens. You want us to recruit aliens? 
Malgus makes a good point. It sounds like we can use some allies. I'm in charge of this operation, not Malgus. The mine is at the end of a crystal cave, with several Republic outposts guarding it. Sure, challenge the Kalish general, then bring me his head. Mine is the same either way? Multiple bosses just confuses the job. You're here under a military commission. My commission. I will not trust the Empire to mercenary freaks. If we don't bolster our forces, there will be no future for the Empire. Go to the mine, gather the weapons of the Kalish warriors, and plant them in the ice to initiate the right of challenge. That's interesting. Alright then then. Let's go do that. I think, uh, yeah, I think Malgus was onto something right there. I'm going to listen to him a little bit more, boys. We do have a new cache because we leveled up again. You see what they are giving us? An helmet, which is completely garbage. I don't need that. I need mods. That's what I need, boys. Mods. All right. Next up. Okay, so obtain a Kalish rifle, all of this shit. Let me go. I guess I got to travel. Do the next waypoint. Yeah, basically, I got to use the next waypoint. So we're about to enter the cave right here where uh, what we're searching for is. We're definitely going to have to get our way through these guys right here. So let me uh, do that a special attack right here. It's two Taz Rifleman, which uh, apparently it's two captains, it seems like. Who are not mini bosses, but below that. Nothing special, but still a little bit more health than the usual characters. Or the usual NPCs, so I gotta be prudent about it. Be um, be secure. So we do have a lot of things to do here. I want to make sure do not have to fight all of them, even though they're gonna fight me anyway. Because why the fuck not? All right, let me just stand, go ahead and do this uh, little attack right here. This uh, AOE attack is the best by far, but I still want to use the other one let's go are you done already there we go let's go let's do this boys there is a Sif right here so he's making a path for us we're gonna help him out uh, if we help him out he might in return help us out as well so I kind of want to do that boys just to be friends a little bit for a while here so they can help you we can help each other out all right let's go let's help each other out right here I am going to go ahead and do this. There we go. I'm taking the first one. Let's see if they can attack. No, he's not going to help me. All right. Well, looks like the, that uh, human that's playing right now is a little bitch, boys. He's not helping me. So I am not going to help him out either. He's on his own. He's giving it like I helped him out. He didn't help me. So he's on his own, uh, boys. I don't know what to say about that other than that. I'm gonna go ahead and get the first jump on them. I guess not. It doesn't always work for some reason. Where, where the fuck are you going? I don't know where the fuck they were going right there, boys. It just went past me and went straight to Dorian. We're going the same way though. I don't know, uh, too. I don't know why you didn't want to work with me right there. It's kind of stupid, but. All right, we gotta fight all these dudes. We're gonna have to. The Kalish boys, I don't know what they're doing in Ilum though kind of weird uh, when you think about it uh, what they're doing on Ilum I don't know not their planet at all this is definitely a planet for the Wampas just like off and stuff Tauntoons, Wampas and all the leash usually on a tropical planet just like the red Pandoroshans they're kind of the same amount same people even probably deserty planets uh, usually all right I think this I'm, I'm supposed to kill that guy so let's go I'm supposed to kill him. Or we'll kill him, boys. Mini boss right there. Oh, shit. No, you don't. Get up. My God. I swear, man. When you get down with... When, when they stun you, they stun you for good. Uh, there we go. I'll stun him. And that's what I'm talking about right here. Get that really quick. So I do as much damage as possible. There we go, boys. Oh, he's dead. I got the Kalish rifle. That's good continue our way through the south here we gotta make our way all through these guys he's the second guy we gotta kill boys let's go ahead and do it i'm gonna equip my shield right here just make sure that uh, it doesn't do 
He does minimum the amount of damage possible to me. Let's go. I'm gonna equip that right here. I don't want to use my Rorix on these guys. I really don't. Well, I don't. I usually think I don't use it enough, and maybe that's right. I probably don't use it enough. But uh, I just feel like that would be a waste uh, to just use it all the time like that. And plus, it takes a while to recharge. It's just like the fast travel, uh, the quick travel system. It takes a while to recharge, so you don't want to waste it right on simple enemies like this. Sure, it takes a little bit long to kill these guys after a while, but even so, I feel like it, it would be a total waste to do all that all the time. All right, let's go, man. Kill these bees right here. Finish their dam already. So many of them. It's getting a little bit ridiculous here. There we go. There we go. That's what I'm talking about right here. We got that. The special attack right here. Just gonna go ahead and do that. All right, he's dead. All these uh, crystals, these little kyber crystals right now, boys. It's kind of crazy. I think I'm gonna have to shoot my way through these guys. Yep. That's what I thought. They saw me first. For so somehow, like I wasn't even close to them. It's kind of crazy. Alright. Get the fuck out of here. There we go. Kind of starting to annoy me, my guy. There we go. I gotta tell you right now, while we're fighting these little bosses right, bo uh, right now, boys. I really want to thank you for all your incredible support. Yeah, you've been... you all been so much, like, so incredible right now that if... I don't know how to thank you properly, right? It's been incredible this journey I've been through right now. I'm still going through it. And um, I can't thank you guys enough, uh, honestly. I'm, I'm really being honest here. I thank you enough for your incredible support uh, right now that you're giving me and everything. So thank you so much, guys. Uh, I just wanted to let you all know that uh, I love you. And uh, keep going at it. Right, let me just... Get kill these guys. I'm gonna skip a little bit of this combat because otherwise it's gonna get repetitive for you guys. So. Alright boys, we're finally here. We gotta plant the, uh, the weapons on the cerum uh, ceremonial ground or uh, however you want to call it. Can't speak right now. I, I did went ahead and kill all the uh, all the guards or whatever the special bosses that we were supposed to kill. So Now what? A setup. Oh, all right. That's right. We're challenging him. Who challenges me? I'm challenging you, my dude. My, my dude. The toughest fighter you ever met. What do you want with the people of Kali? Your loyalty. The Empire wants you to join them and fight for them. You have defeated my warriors. You are strong. You have issued the challenge. You are knowledgeable. But the Republic pays us well and offers us a place among their people. We can find peace. The Empire is stronger. The Empire are better warriors than the Republic will ever be. If it's so, then prove it. The challenge must be honored. All right, then. Let's do it, boys. Let's do the challenge right now. I'm actually going to end this quickly. Uh, let's go. Flamethrower thing. That actually does a lot of damage. Did you just force push me, my guy? What the fuck is wrong with you? I didn't know you had uh, powers. Force powers. Yeah. I'm finishing this quickly, boys. I'm not messing around in this one. Let's go. I bow to you, war leader of the Kalish. This army is the empires to command all right then well we've got the kalish on our uh, on our side exactly want uh, what Malgus wanted us to do so all we need to do now is report to grand moff boys and i think afterwards we'll uh, just end the video all right mr grand moff i did what you asked once again and even better are you deliberately trying to provoke me i'm doing what i was sent to do now if you'll excuse me I have other matters to attend to. And you? I did not request your help so that you could bring aliens into the Empire. I can go if you want. They make us stronger. I'm sorry, I had to. You know I can go if you want. 
Then maybe I should leave you to do your own dirty work. No, that's not necessary. The mine's been reclaimed. We can resume our crystal operations. Our best recon teams are scouting the Republic base for an attack. But in the meantime, we need to prepare for the arrival of the prototype fleet. All right, you're too cautious. Why is the fleet so important? What's the reason for bringing the fleet to Ilum? Can't the stealth technology be transported? We need the fleet in place on the surface. Everything we need to build the stealth armada is on that fleet. But the Republic's anti-aircraft artillery installation controls the skies. Anything that flies too low gets shot down. The Republic's artillery base is protected by a ray shield and the Republic's best alien forces. Delta Squad will disable the ray shield while you storm the base and destroy the guns. I'll take care of it. Can can uh, can they take out the guns as well? Yeah. Why do I have to do everything? Why can't Delta Squad storm the base? We want to time the attack so you can strike the instant the ray shield goes down before the Republic can scramble reinforcements. Get into position at the comm relay just outside the artillery base. Contact Delta Squad when you're ready, and they'll bring the ray shield down. After that, it's up to you. Destroy those guns and get out of there. Alive. All right, then. Fine. I'll do whatever you say. The next job, boys, is for the next video. I'm going to actually leave it right now. Um, thank you guys for watching. Remember to keep a like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. I'm going to see you all for the next one. Keep it easy.